Hi there. I want to share with you, if you're a coach or a consultant, why I love High Ticket so much and how it has saved me in my business. You know, I just recently wrote a book called Expert in You, Build a Lucrative and Impactful Coaching and Consulting Business with Your Expertise. And I wrote that book because I share in that book how High Ticket literally changed my life. And it can change your life too, especially if you are working with low value clients or you're working with clients who don't pay you a lot of money. High ticket is the way to go all day long. Now, I just want to preface this by saying you have to be good at what you do to be able to get high ticket prices. But I have not often found someone that didn't have some expertise that came to me for my help where we could not package up something that was ten thousand dollars, twenty five, fifty, hundred. I even had a client where we packaged up a $200,000 offer for her. So when I'm talking about high ticket, that's more what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a big wins, big shots of money for less time. All right. So one of the things that I see is people out there trying to sell their services for $500 or $1,000 a month. And I will tell you, this is a tough business model because it takes, you know, 10 clients at $1,000 a month to make $100,000 in revenue, which is not $100,000 in income. By the time you pay expenses and you take off taxes, you're not going to make $100,000. So the reason I want to talk about this is because something happened to me years ago that was very profound and and it's the reason I'm super passionate about high ticket and what I know it can do for people. When you are selling high ticket in your coaching or consulting business, should you ever get to a place in your business where maybe you get in trouble a little bit? Uh, maybe you're not making the money you were. And so now everything's stressful. One client typically can get you out of trouble. And I had something happen many, many years ago. Um, my husband was having some health issues in his job and they were job related and he really needed a uh, much re needed rest and some time off. And I convinced him to retire two years early. Now at the time, my business was doing very, very well. I was on my way to $200,000 a year in my business and I, we didn't have any debt. We had investments. We had a savings account. We, you know, uh, we were in a great place financially because I had sold five of the businesses that I had built through the years and it had put us in a great place financially. But the goal was we would be supported on my income, on what I was making in my coaching and consulting business. And we weren't going to tap into our all of our investments and all of that because that was our retirement. That is what is going to carry us through to the end of our lifetime for both of us. And so I, I convinced him to quit his job two years early, knowing that he wasn't going to get any social security or any kind of retirement or anything that was going to be able to help us financially. And so everything was completely dependent on me. Now, my business was in a great place and I invested in a couple of different things. And it was shortly after that, all of a sudden things took a downturn in my business. So I invested in a high ticket coach, uh, paying him several thousand dollars a month. I invested in a coaching organization because I love their tools and their resources. But both of those things took me down the wrong path in my business. And where I had been doing very, very well, all of a sudden, I found my revenue spiraling downward. And I got to a place for the first time in my business uh, since I had started where I was barely making enough money to pay my expenses and make any, make any income. And I remember, I'm telling you this story for two reasons. One, because I was a high ticket coach, I was only one client away from getting myself back to a place where I was not going to be stressed out. So one client away. Now, if I would have been selling services, you know, with clients at $1,000 a month or $500 a month, I would have needed several clients, right? So it's a much slower path. But all I needed was a $5,000 client or a $10,000 client or a 30 or a 40 or a $50,000 client. And I I was going to be out of what I call the stressed out zone. All right. And so that's why I love high tickets so much. All I had to do was go sell somebody something for $5,000 or $10,000. And I was, I was back doing okay. And then I could continue to build and grow. Well, that's exactly what I did. And so it wasn't very long. I was back, um, 
you know, I was back out of that stressed out zone and I was doing okay again. And then from there, I continued to grow and, and, and rescale my business. But I'm telling you this for two reasons. The first thing is my husband was absolutely devastated when he saw that my income had dropped and I was in contracts in agreements with this coach and with, with this coaching company. So I was going to have to pay that money out monthly. And um, so all of a sudden we went from having no debt, no bills, no anything to all of a sudden I was having to pay out several thousands of dollars to something that wasn't even helping me or wasn't even serving my business. And so he was stressed out for that reason, but he was also stressed out because he had an employee mindset. He had always worked for a paycheck. He was always giving a predictable and consistent paycheck, and that had been his whole life. And I've been an entrepreneur for, you know, 30 years. And so I know that I am com in complete control of what happens in my business. I am in complete control to go out and get that next client, make more money, hit bigger levels in my business. I am not dependent on someone else handing me a paycheck where that's all I'm ever going to have. And so we have two very different mindsets. And I remember telling him when he was just freaking out about everything and so stressed out, I remember telling him, I'm just going to go get another client. It's not a big deal. I mean, granted, this is not, this is not a fun place to be, but you know, there are other clients out there, right? I, I can go get more clients. And, and that was just my attitude. And so in about a month or so, I think I had another client. And then I was able to actually get back and even continue to grow my business within just a couple of months. So I'm telling you this story for two reasons. Number one, high ticket saved me. It not only got me out of that situation I was in very, very quickly by just bringing in one more client, it also helped me grow my business to bigger levels higher levels, levels that a lot of coaches don't even think about or even think that they can achieve. The second thing is don't think like an employee where you think you have limited resources. One of the things I see is a lot of coaches freak out about investing any money and getting help or spending any money in getting help because in their mind, they're not thinking that money is replaceable. See, one of the things, just like I had invested in the coach and invested in the company, in the coaching organization, I invested in those things to help me make more money, to help me move forward. Now, maybe they didn't turn out quite the way I had wanted, but it's still, it's still not like there wasn't any value there. Okay. And so I just look at it I, in a couple of ways. I look at it as a learning uh, lesson, a learned lesson. And I also look at it as I still got value. And, and those things, everything helped, has helped me in some way, shape, or form move the needle forward faster and even higher. And so that's the way I look at investing money. I don't look at what if it doesn't work? What if I don't lose it? You know, ultimately, I was making the decisions. I mean, they were guiding me, but I was the one doing what I was being told to do. And even though they weren't the right things, I still was making those decisions, right? I still had control over my business. So I don't blame anyone. I don't blame, you know, the fact that I wasted my money. I don't look at it that way. I never look at an investment as wasted money. I look at it. There's always something to be learned. There's always value there. You always learn something that is going to help you. So I, I hope that this, you know, opened up some ideas for you and kind of maybe shifted your mindset, both about how to think in your business and how to really uh, look at money as a tool and a resource to continue to move you forward. And sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want, but it will, you will always gain knowledge and growth from anything that you do, any good or bad, anything you do. The second thing I really, the point I really want to hit home on is high ticket is absolutely the fastest and best path. It will give you the money you need to keep growing your business, it will help you stay out of that stressed out zone and it will literally be life changing for you. So I'm Ann Carden. If I can help you create your high ticket business model and make bigger financial faster leaps, I would love to have a conversation with you and talk about my 45 day intensive that can help you do that. You have an amazing day. Bye-bye.